Our post rehab tip for this segment will look at the muscles of the quadricep muscle group. You'll notice here, obviously, we have a model of the knee, and this is our anterior view of the knee, and this is a right knee. We can see here is our fibula, which indicates the lateral aspect of the knee. Here's the medial aspect of the knee. Here's our quadricep, our quadricep tendon, our patella, and also our patella tendon. Along the medial aspect of the quadricep, we'll have our vastus medialis. The central portion, uh, superficially, will be our rectus femoris. And then sitting under the rectus will be the vastus intermedius. And then over here will be our vastus lateralis. Please remember, this vastus medialis, the fibers are sitting at a, a bit of an angle, which gives them a mechanical advantage when they contract. This lateralis is much stronger, and as a result, it wants to pull the patella laterally. With these medialis fibers being at a slight angle, it actually gives them a bit of a mechanical advantage, but the problem we find in most humans is the vastus medialis is very, very much so underdeveloped. So when we look at strengthening the quadricep, just generally strengthening the quad overall will help with recruiting vastus medialis fibers so they can offset the larger lateralis. Now the lateralis is going to be much larger, it's going to be much bigger, and as a result of that, it's always going to win, but because these medialis fibers are at a bit of an angle, it actually gives them a mechanical advantage. So it doesn't have to be as strong, it doesn't have to be as large, and we can get away with less muscle fibers being recruited. So please remember, when we look at the quadricep, there's an automatic imbalance that's built in here. And that automatic imbalance is the medialis fibers are normally going to be weaker, the medialis is going to be underdeveloped, and the lateralis is going to be much larger and much stronger in most humans that automatically gives us that muscular imbalance.